Hello everybody and welcome back to Best Friends Who Fool Each Other. <gasps> Happy, Happy April, April Fools! Fools! Oh! <laughs> Got him! If you guys are listening, I just sprayed James with a water gun that just came from Amazon right this second. Divine timing. Thank you, Amazon Prime. My hairstyle just took me five hours to do perfectly. <laughs> Good job I've got a lot of hairspray, just repelled it. You didn't touch your fair hair. Are you can sorry, I don't know if anybody can see this. I am <laughs> Put the gun down. Do what I say. I'll do whatever you want. Just Give don't me shoot a foot me. massage after this. After this. What? After this episode. And if I say no, what are you going to do, huh? You're going to shoot me or something? Yes. I just dodged that because I'm Superman. <laughs> I just dodged that. <laughs> How are you so shit with a gun, man? I hope no one robs his house. You'll be so shit. What, with my water gun? Yeah, that's going to stop them. Well, it's just stop me. Mid-speech, I freaked out then. Well, happy episode, guys. Happy April Fool's. I think that's in about a couple of days from now, so we're clearly very excited for the occasion. Actually, now you've done it, you know, it's bad luck to do April Fool's jokes before April Fool's. What? So now you've Is got it karma. actually? And that's oh, my, don't say this And that's me, my James, prank on you. you know I'm and that's get my OCD prank on you. Symptoms about it. I told you before, ages ago, when we planned this episode, I said we should do a prank on each other. Don't tell each other what. My prank was to let you do that prank. Oh, uh, yeah, it's bad whatever. Luck. Yeah, bollocks, bollocks. It's bad luck. Anyway, guys, happy April Fools. Today, we are going to be talking about some of the weird pranks that have happened to us. Mm. But the main topic of discussion is reading out you guys' confessions. You guys. Guys's. <laughs> Your confessions. <laughs> you guys. As well as talking about our own weird confessions that we haven't told each other. So this is gonna be new news to me. Mm-hmm. Um new news? Yeah. Is that new? Is that, is that is it news or new news? New. New news. News. New news. New news. Sounds like something <laughs> you call your pussy. <laughs> Your ninny. <laughs> I call it my ninny. Uh, oh. Yeah. I or call my... it the, a kebab crumpet. No, kebab is horrific. And you know mine doesn't look like a kebab. No, it's true. I'll take the thicker si. Salmonella kebab. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough funny discussion, please. Stop fanning it around. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Okay, also, we've got some tequila rosé for our shots because we've really upped ourselves in this Upgraded. Episode. And we've got a nice, cute peppermint tea as well. Because, you know, I don't know how strong tequila rosé is, but I feel like if I had a pink gin too, um, things would be crazy. <laughs> Got him! Ah, oh, you dickhead. James's you, tea was not peppermint tea. I put white wine vinegar in it. You and did you didn't it. know. <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> Success. Thanks for the pranks, mate. I'm I'm wet and I can't. I now I've just got some vinegar taste in my mouth. Uh-huh. But one thing I hope isn't a prank. TikTok's getting banned. Yeah, guys. It is. I don't know if you guys have heard the news. Apparently the American Congress, right? Yep. Why did you look at me like I was? I was very right? Congress. 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 Maybe Congress. it is Congress. <laughs> the American way, Congress. The Americans they don't like the TikTok because they think that the privacy is not right and TikTok is taking our data. But what don't make sense is Facebook takes our data, Google takes our data. No, the difference is, yeah. Americans are scared because I think the homie do it. TikTok is a Chinese app. Yes. So giving our data to the Chinese and they don't like that. Something to do with like holding it against them or something if they get the right information. But also I remember two years ago, this was just before lockdown. Or maybe it was in lockdown. It was. There was talks of TikTok being banned. And I remember all the people I used to watch be like, guys, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on YouTube because I'm not going to have this app anymore. And I still love you guys. Please, please follow me on Instagram. I gained a quite a few amount of Instagram followers. Yeah, of course I did that. 
I said, guys, if you want to follow me, like, otherwise it's bye for now. I didn't like beg it, but I was oh, like, man, I was, I was so upset. I was like, I went to my, I went downstairs to my mum. I was like, mum, you're not going to believe it. TikTok's <laughs> getting banned. Donald Trump wants it gone. She went, what? I, I built all of this for nothing. There was nothing left. My only chance to be a social media star <laughs> is now gone. Yeah, it was pretty peak because that has, that was just when I started earning a bit of money from yeah. it. And I was like, well, that lasted long. That yeah. was fun. Bit of molar. Yeah. Bit of savings. See you later. I really hope it doesn't go, guys. If it does, follow our Instagrams. Yeah, follow come our on, guys. Instagrams, guys. Come All on, link come below. On. No, but and honestly, YouTube. it's like the fact that they're talking about it is kind of scary because they don't like it. I know. Like, but one of, them, one of them was really funny. This guy was like, like one of the congressmen was like, um, so does tiktok access the home wi-fi if i'm at home how does it access the internet huh? uh, the ceo was like well it has to act uh, access your wi-fi in order to you know access the internet and he's like oh god damn god damn god damn what, what? What? these are congressmen here like do they not know how uh, technology works i guess not and one of them called it tic tac <laughs> I mean, tic tac i mean tic tac for fuck's sake <laughs> Yeah, but it's just a silly little lap to them. But to us, this this is our whole life. But what this I is felt, our career. I know, but what it felt like to me, it was just like a bunch of conspiracy conspiracy theorists within a room. Because one of them was yeah. like, um, "Do you track face recognition data?" And the guy's like, "No, nah, we don't. The only thing we do track is where your eyes are. So when we have like the sunglasses feature, we can put the sunglasses on you." He's like, "What? So you can see our pupils dilate?" What? And he's like, "What the fuck? Why would they need to see that?" No, but I don't. What is he saying? Yeah, I don't know. It just baffles me, sense. mate. It doesn't. So, what if you can see them dilate? Does it, is it like code for something? Well, apparently, if your eyes dilate, yeah, like the multifunctional of your neurons kind of discombobulate uh, the booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going somewhere with that. <laughs> Chatting up my ass, man. <laughs> but I've been pranked pretty hardcore um, about three years ago when I was in uni and I didn't like it. It was one of the worst pranks of my life. I've never been pranked before, but I would like to hear this. So I was at, I was on a set filming. I was like a 6 a.m. jobby. So I was on it all day. And it's one of those days where you don't eat properly at work. You film, like, I'm just doing something. I'm running around, I'm traveling from one end of London to the other, Ubers, buses, tubes, you name it. Tripod in one hand, whole camera backpack on the other. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I haven't had time for a shit. And all you want to do sometimes is go home and take a fat shit. Right. Yeah. Then once. So I get home. And I'm in a house. Sharing, I'm sharing a house with five people here. So I get home. I open the door. Flick on the light. It's completely pitch black. I'm like, well, how the fuck are my light bulbs blown out yeah, now? Yeah. Like today. All right. We're going to the bathroom. Turn the light on. The, the lights aren't working. I'm like, oh, there must have been like a. A trip of the switch, you know what I'm saying? The fuse box or something. I'm like, all right, so I get the flashlight out and as I shine it to take a shit, I see a reflection <laughs> just below my knob. I'm like, oh. what? And as I'm, I'm literally like <laughs> sucking it back in, I'm like, hold on a second. <laughs> this is cling film. Oh, no, man. Oh, I was fury. I was like, right, fucking, fucking belt up. So I knew who did it. Walked up to their room. I went, oh, okay. I know their sister's staying over tonight in this room. Do you know what? I'm going to fucking take all the curtains. I took down the whole railing, every little fucking bit of the curtain, shoved it under my bed, sat down, and I sat there looking at the door, waiting. I was like, he's going to fucking come in any minute now. Yeah. Comes in, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? My sister's coming here. She can't sleep in here if there's no fucking curtains. It's going to be too bright for her. So like, well, I needed a shit. Uh -huh. And somebody took my light bulbs out. And I'm guessing it was you. He went, yeah, but that was a silly prank. This is outrageous. I'm like, what? what? You, you can't, you can't. That's, that's, um, what's the word? I've been a hypocrite. Yes. I was so fuming. And then the day after, or like a couple of days after, I get back from work. This, I had a hundred condoms I ordered from Amazon, yeah? Because man's active. Yeah, right. Yeah. Man wishes. And I open the door and I see pretty much about 60 of them all hung from the ceiling oh with string God. yeah that's dedication yeah some with pins in it some without pins in it right some that have been pinned but the pins been taken out of 
and I've had condoms stretched over my computer screen. Do you know when people like wrap your room up with wrapping paper? Just imagine that with condoms, everything covered in condoms. Oh like my, my mouse God. put into a condom, my door handle put into a condom, my toilet bowl That's wrapped dedication. in a condom. I know. I spent fucking like a lot of money on those condoms because they ain't cheap. Yeah, yeah, a hundred condoms. That's pricey. Did they pay for it? No. No. Did they tell me which ones had pins in it? No. So what do I have to do? I had to throw them all away. Oh, I can't yeah, afford a kid, bro. I can't do it. I can't Were risk having pissed? a kid. I was fucking fuming. Did you show you a piss? I was like, no one was in the house. Oh, really? So it was like, they left it and then went out and I came back from work and I was like, right. And I was annoyed. But do you know when like you, in that heat of the moment, I was fucking fuming. But then I calmed down. And I was like, okay, it's a prank, whatever. And I was hoping they would pay for it. And they never did. And I was like, do you know what? And then I moved out. Ah. Uh. It's fucking left. Yeah, I would leave too. That's mean. That's just mean. That's bullying. Yeah, that's bully. It sounds like you're being bullied. Can you smell that? What? <laughs> no, smell. What have you done? No, I've done nothing. Can you smell it? No. It James. smells like shit. No, it smells like shit. You're about to prank me. No, I'm not about to prank you. I'm not. I, swear, I promise you. I'm not about to prank you. Something smells like shit. Can you not, are you being serious? I can't smell anything. Have you done a prank on me? I haven't. I haven't. I, because it smells like shit. In here. I know you're lying. No, I'm being deadly serious. Nothing smells. I can. There is shit in this what room. There done? is shit in this room. Oh, whatever. <gasps> oh, what have you done? No, I'm not. I'm not, done? I'm not that anything. I'm not that. That's a cat shit right there. What? That's a cat shit right there. What? <laughs> I'm not. The, I'm not. The, I'm not? <laughs> that's a cat shit. That's a cat shit. No, they're right there, guys. We don't. Isabel left the door. No, but you left the door open this whole morning. That's not poo. That is a cat shit. That's Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. right there. Oh, <laughs> it's soaking wet. Shame <laughs> <laughs> you grim. That wasn't actually cat shit. That was posted in my April Fool's prank. Oh, uh, you're funny. Poo girl pooed herself again. <laughs> I'm the best at pranks. That was actually really good. See, I don't want to actually inflict pain on you. Uh huh. I just wanted to make you get a bit, bit scared. I know, I'm Freaked too... Freaked out. Well, but you actually caused... You could have poisoned me there. What if I was allergic to white rice? You're not. You're allergic to penicillin. What? I wouldn't be surprised if you were penicillin in there. What the fuck? Kill me off, you know what I'm saying? Why would I do that? I tell you all the time about how I'm scared you're going to die before me. And that you're but you're making sure of it now, aren't you? By myself, all alone. Well, whoa, this is not that type of episode, Chief. Yeah, well. We're not getting... Let's uplift the spirits. Come on. Okay, well, let's get into your confessions, let's shall we? Let's do it. Okay, so we have a voice note of one of you guys saying your confessions. This is quite personal. Mm. Here we go. Hi, Bella. I just wanted to say I love the podcast. I've listened to them all. Right, so I'm 21 now, but in primary school, I never used to see my dad. My parents split up. Uh, there was this boy called Jay who used to bully me every single day. And in the end, I just got fed up with it, so... At the start or end of break, when you all queue up to use the water fountain, when it was my turn to use it, I pissed in it. <laughs> um, so he was next in line after me, and this everyone knew I'd done it, like because I told him I was going to do it and get revenge. So when he came out after drinking from the water fountain, after I pissed in it, everyone started laughing at him, going, "Ah, you drank his piss!" And he started crying his eyes out. Nearly got expelled. I got him very big shit, but I still don't regret it to this day because. He put me through so much grief. I just had to, I guess, do something to get my own back or I'd never let it go. How does them having a divorce have anything to do with this? <laughs> that was just some random fucking side piece NPC information. Just that. So when Please. I was a kid, my dad and mom had a divorce. <laughs> By the way, I pissed in a fucking sink. <laughs> what? I think he was giving backstory to how he was so fed up with life maybe oh, you know right. he was down he was yeah. depressed and then this kid just kept bullying him he was like do you know what fuck this shit I'm gonna piss in the in the, in the sink water fountain yeah the water fountain just like how I'm poo girl he's piss girl mate you're a fucking boy. dynamic duo <laughs> piss boy and poo girl <laughs> Jesus a double threat I never thought of peeing in a water fountain that would have been a good April Fool's prank I am what? 
we don't even have a water fountain. No, but at primary school, that thought never went through my head. Like, oh, I did a really bad one. We had a fish pond, and I thought about pissing or shitting in there, but I never really thought. You and shit, bruv. What's wrong? Every episode, we talk about shit every time. Okay, well, what were you about to say? Tequila rose. Come on. So I'm, I'm, excited I'm, not, yeah, for I'm actually shot. not upset about this. I absolutely love this taste. Oh god, another shot. All oh, right. Not another one. Uh, not from the bottle. Don't pack. Wash it's it. good luck. Ooh. We all know it's good luck. Dirty boy. Right. That tastes so good. I had to do it twice. <laughs> I can't believe we only discovered this the other day. No, I knew it existed, but I never drank it. Yeah, same. And then in the pub, we just gave it a go, and now me and James are addicted. God, anything pink, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what would be nice? You know, like, how people make desserts with Baileys? Make a dessert with tequila rosé. I reckon that could go down a treat. Try it. Cheers! Cheers. (laughs) What did you put in it? (laughs) I'm putting this one back. What did you put in it? (laughs) <laughs> what'd you put in it so do you know your poo girl yeah you didn't piss in that did you put your phlegm in it did you backwash uh, maybe put a little bit of laxatives in it <laughs> no you didn't I went to the corner shop <laughs> no, you didn't. I did that was a dummy to say that I've tasted it but I actually didn't to make you feel like you wanted it you wouldn't waste a tequila rosé bottle I will pay you back for the bottle <laughs> you don't have any money to pay me back for the ball. <laughs> Good luck. Did you have- Good luck. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, oh, what a double prank. See you do later. You know what? I kind of need that because I'm always bloody constipated. So. Oh, it's yummy. What the hell was that? That was yummy. I just had a glitch. <laughs> the little, the little you did it there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a Tony Lopez moment. Who? Tony Lopez. Oh. The. Yeah, I know him as a helicopter dick man or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can't remember why. I think everybody used to call. Helicopter <laughs> dick. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think he used to do like these, like like that oh, moves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, that's do just. Do you remember another. that time when this is really random? Um. James Charles did a singing video. Yeah, and with Tony them, Lopez is in the back the dancing to it. Like. Yeah, and his other brother. Yeah, what's he called? Andrea. Yeah, and remember how Tony Lopez was, well, was a alleged a, nonce. alleged yeah. nonce. Found out that his brother is also a nonce. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and people say that I look like his girlfriend. They're I not don't together think I, anymore. Are they not? Nah. The girl that dances. Yeah. Oh really. No, it's a bit of shame, isn't it? Oh. It's must young love for you. Well, anyway, back to the confessions, guys. <laughs> Accidentally sent nudes to an Apple support agent. <laughs> supposed to send a broken screen pic. How, how can you mess that up? How can you accidentally send nudes? People like that confuse me and they scare me, actually. Because that means you're quite chaotic. That gives me chaotic energy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't accidentally sent nudes to anybody. But mm. I've actually had my nudes accidentally shown to people. Have you? Twice. When? One with you. Me? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> and one with my ex. So, you know. Yeah, because you're a weirdo. So, I was about to go to the cinema with my friend and um, James beforehand decided to take a photo of his knob and set it as my lock screen. And then, obviously, me and my friend Izzy, we have Cineworld cards <laughs> because we love going to the cinema. So, we decided to get a membership. And... Um, the membership was on my phone and I was like, oh, Izzy, hold on a sec. Look at my phone because I needed to get it up at the counter. And she goes, oh, and I go, oh, and I was like, wait, did you just see that? And she was like, I don't know what I just saw. And I was like, okay, don't worry. She was like, what was that? And I was like, it was James's willy. Sorry. <laughs> I showed you it before you left thinking you would change it. <laughs> I didn't but have yet- time for that. I was running for the bus. Now your best mate see my cock. Yep. Oh, and it was even a good picture either. It was like, you know, just like limp to the side. Yeah, it was really, really bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, it wasn't like hot. It was an ugly photo. It was just like in my dressing gown, like legs spread. <laughs> How flat. <laughs> and the other time, we actually broke up at this point. I didn't know she still had my nudes. 
Red flag. Red flag. So my ex dad my nudes. Didn't realise. We broke up. And there was an app on this on your phone where you could like connect and sh- like, it, it shares like your, it accesses your gallery and it randomly picks out photos and then you have to guess who out of your friend sh- friends is that photo from. And then my absolute monstrosity of a cock, sh- fucking sh- massive thing. Yeah, just a picture it. Just like, like imagine Wham-o. the whole screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just can't even fit in the screen. No, can't even fit. So it's just like, it's like one, like imagine it, yeah. Yeah, just so a big cock. Big, you know, but like, imagine it. Like from the top <laughs> of the screen to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's massive. Okay. Just like, imagine it, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm imagining it, yeah. Because it's huge, yeah. And like all our friends went, that's definitely changed this because they just fucking knew, like I've got a monster cock. But yeah, and then <laughs> she met. How do they all know? Um, well, because I've got that energy. I've got that big, <laughs> big dick energy. energy. <laughs> but no, all our friends were like, um, what? And, that's, and she like called me afterwards and was like, hi. I was like, hi. She goes, Oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> um, I accidentally showed my friends your penis. So you had broken up at this point. Yeah. And she Yeah, sure. Decided to call you and let you know. Yeah. That's weird. I don't even know why I picked up the phone, but I'm glad I did. There's nothing I could do about it. I was like, oh uh, She like it was like kind of, she told me oh, couple, nothing she, twice. No, she, well, she told me a couple of months ago, so. Huh? So she told me a couple of months ago. Yeah, ball it. <laughs> Nah, um, but that was that's a true story. But it told me ages ago. When I was eleven, I found my mum's dildo and used it to experiment. She found it under my pillow. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Your mum's pussy juice has been on that, and you've just don't touch that. Don't. That's grim. Don't. That's wild. That's really grim. What well, mine is yours. <laughs> That's actually... Why would you take your mum's dildo for starters? That's karma, her finding it, but God bless the mum. Imagine seeing that. How do you react? I was so scared of shitting in my boyfriend's house, I used to shit in a cup and place it in the loo so it didn't make noise. Then what do you do with the shit? (gasps) What? No, so... Yeah, so she shat in the cup and then puts it in the toilet... Uh, have you ever like, heard of this technique? What? Put toilet roll on the bottom of the toilet and when you shit, you don't hear the water. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, so why don't you just do that like a normal human? And then what do you do with the cup, more like? Like you obviously fill it you with water. You wash it out no, like no, you're no, doing no, the dishes. No, no, you just, you can't act suspicious. So you go down and make a drink with it and you go, here you go, boyfriend. <laughs> Otherwise you act sus. Ew. That's what I would do. People are tapped. I'm sorry, but I am fully judging you right now. Mate, I would rather hear your own shit. Like I'd, ha- yeah. I'd rather hear it. Slap the ball like this. <laughs> then, then you shit in a cup and just be like, Ugh. tip it in. Yeah, because it's oh that that cup. Oh my gosh. You have, the probably the family drinks out of that. That's probably one of the family cups. Yeah, please don't go tell me you put it back in the cupboard because that's wrong. Even if you so wash, that needs to go to bin. That needs to go to bin. Like realistically, that needs to go to bin. Yeah, that's toxic waste. That is. And you would know about it, poo expert. <laughs> My boyfriend and I were on a boat to an island and he went to the toilet on the boat. So gross on there, by the way. And ended up having diarrhoea and shat all over the toilet. Then realised there was no loo roll and someone was pulling at the door to get in. We are in Bali, so they also have a bucket of water with a smaller bucket to manually flush the loo. So he finished through... So he fished through the bin of used loo roll. Can't flush the toilet roll down there either. So no idea what was on them. And found a single wipe. Attempted to wipe his ass, Then used the bucket of water to attempt to wash the crack. After the ordeal, he then had to sit in his skiddy, shitty pants for another hour on the boat. Oh. That is just humiliating. <sighs> Sorry, I mean, it's not as bad as your one because you did it by choice. What do you mean? Shit in a bag. You no, that's... Pro- I, oh, he went through, used toilet roll to wipe his ass. He had that's to do what he had to green. do, man. That's I grim. respect it. And then used the, the bucket of water which they used to flush the toilet to clean his crack. You've got to do what you got to do. You have, you've got to do what you got to do. Oh my and God. in that time, respect, to you, respect I guess. is a hustle. Because it's better than just shitting in your pants. Anything oh, maybe not actually, because it would all be very. Cont- you could have just chucked the pants away. <laughs> no, because then it'll be all over your butt and all. Imagine but, walking with pool. All bro, over. if you're on a boat, just jump off the boat. 
yeah, shit in that, the water. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but then what are you going to wipe yourself with? The water. Just shake it off. It's <laughs> diarrhea anyway. It's just wet as the water. <laughs> so wet as it comes, man. James, that's revolting. My bad. When I was little, my mum would cut my toenails and I would make her put them in a pile for me to munch on later. I still do this. That's revolting. I'll admit, I did used to bite my toenails when I was younger. I used to pull it up and go. I did used to do that, but not put my toenails or fingernails in a pile and munch on them. She said, leave it as a snack. <laughs> a side snack from you you're watching a movie. Oh, have you, have you got the bowl of toenail clippings, mum? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. They're just here. I've added a few into it for you. That's, do you know what I mean? That's outrageous. And why would your mum agree to that? That You need some psychiatric help that's medical help yeah that, that's like, not normal i know people that put them into bags so they, they don't throw them on the floor who does that no like people like like do the toenail clippings and put them in a bag so they don't throw them on the floor right do you know what i mean rather than just like clipping on the floor what happened to having a bowl of popcorn sweets packet of oreos anything but you have to admit the crunch on those toenails just hit the, i know you like the hat I don't like that. You like biting your fingernails. Oh, sorry. I bite my fingernails because I've got major stress at the moment. And it just <laughs> cripples me. You like the taste, don't you? That's the reason. Because you don't feed me enough. I just have to eat my own oh, nails. Oh, my God. I just did a food shop today. Okay. And what did you get? 18 yogurts. Because you like and them. And two chicken breasts. You like them. Yeah. I think that's going to make me full. Oh, my 18 God. yogurts, two chicken breasts, and one salmon. Crisps. That's your biscuits, meal for the year. Yogurts, cheese strings, lunches, dinners, breakfast. There is food, you ungrateful little shit. You know and you didn't pay for any of it. Do you know it. what it feels like, yeah? It feels like I'm in a school lunchtime rotor. It's like, <laughs> right, Wednesday we're having fucking salmon and rice. And you can't say nothing about it. Oh, I'm trying to make lunch today, yeah? And I was like, oh, maybe a fancy bit of chicken and a bit of like pasta with a bit of pesto. Maybe, I don't know, let's yeah, mix it up. That, and you went, the you went, the only chicken you can have on that pasta is processed chicken because I'm using that chicken yes, for food heaters. Ma- you can have the cooked meat. You're not using my I nice am not making nice spaghetti and put processed chicken on top of that. Why? That is ridiculous. You eat that chicken in wraps. What's the difference if you sprinkle it on your pasta? People do that, you know. Processed chicken on past cooked fresh p- yes, pasta. Yes, yes, you can do that. What's wrong with that? I could You're technically put beans, shit, onions in a smoothie and drink go it. Go buy your own. Own what? Own food. Own everything. Yeah, go do it. No, I'm very. How about that? I'm very grateful. Like, See, so I don't. I don't hear grateful coming out of your no, gob listen, right now. Listen, all I, I hear is I'm a spoiled little boy, and I don't realise that Isabella actually does everything in this house. <sighs> <gasps> what? I wake up, do the laundry. Wow, you wake I up. I wake up. I, I, clean, I clean the fucking cupboards and the fridge for our new Do food you shop. fuck clean the them away. cupboards? Are you kidding? I scrubbed down the fucking fridge today, thank you very much. Is that a and cupboard? I do clean those Sorry, cupboards. is that a cupboard? Or is that a fridge? I did, I did the cupboards today, mate. Which cupboard did you clean out Which and scrub down? Which one are you down? talking about? Are you fucking telling me today you scrub those fucking cupboards? <laughs> Let me go have a fucking lick test. All right, go on then. Because I tell you now, it looks as shit as it did as I woke as I went to right, sleep well, last I'll night. Well, I'll let you do that. I don't want to clean. I didn't complain about the cupboards mess. Fucking hell. Right, so I guess it's now to expose ourselves and talk about our own confessions. Yeah. See, the problem with me is. It is another poo confession. Oh, here we go. And that's just the one thing that came to my mind, right? I have got another one. You're addicted to shit. What do you want to go with? The poo or the other? Do you know what? Which one do you want to hear first? I want to hear the poo one. Okay. Jesus. When I was younger, about from the ages of seven to nine, I used to use my dad's old phone and take photos of dog poo that I would see on the street. And Hold on. I turned it into an album called Dog Poo. And if I saw any weird looking ones, I would be like, oh, look, that's a new one for the album. And just take a photo of it. I was like, oh, hold on. 
Oh, I've never had that one before. No, it would be colour. Obviously, I wouldn't touch it. Colour, like, shades. For example, one time I found like a white one and I still remember it to this day and I got really excited. I was like, oh my God, Dad, look at that one. It's a white turd. It's like a Pokemon card or something. Like yeah. a rare Pokemon. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. This is a one of one white shit on the floor. <laughs> that goes to so much money. You guys have no idea, man. <laughs> what the fuck, mate? Who am I with? Why did my dad let me do that? That's like Jeffrey Dahmer shit, that is. <laughs> That's some serial killer shit. Maybe that's why I'm so like, just don't care about poo. Because I'm so... Desensitized. Yeah, to yeah. You're... Maybe you, you have a... Nah, you definitely got a shit kink. I don't you, know. She definitely does have a shit kink. <laughs> you can tell... You can't... You have so many if stories. If you shat on me, if you shat on me, I would form and break up with you. And I'm saying that No, now, you're saying that. Don't test it. Because I, I, I don't want to know. Even if you truly believe I have a shit kink, you're so wrong on so many levels. No, you're saying that right now on the podcast to be like, oh, but whatever, like, no, defensive. I guarantee if I, I did it. I can't even look at your gooch. I can't even look at your arsehole. Because it gets you so turned on. Because it gets you so turned on. I wish I got turned on, James. I actually wish. Because then maybe we'd have sex more than once a month. I'd like to have sex once a week. Maybe even once a day. I wish I got turned on more. But no, looking at your gooch, our arsehole, it's not going to do that for me. Why? It's, it's actually not... going to do the opposite. It's going to prolong everything. We're going to have sex six, one, that, that... once every six months, maybe. So what's wrong with my arsehole right now? <sighs> so that... many things. And list them off. It's a dark abyss. It's like, okay, confession, your arsehole scares me. It's like purple <laughs> down there. What? Yeah, it's like dark purple i'm telling you now my asshole's not purple. yeah it is it's like dark purple skin it's not it, it's not like brown but it's just really purple dark starfish pink. yeah kind of like that and then the gooch is that your confession or is it you, you're exposing no, me your gooch is so hairy it's hairier than like when you didn't shave for about six months on your bush that's funny because I actually shaved my gooch recently. Gooch hair is another level. It is. Did you just hear what I just course. said? Yes, I did hear you. But this, it's it must grow back because it's so it's thick. You could literally sell that in um those material places. You know when you go for textile stuff. Yeah, I'm a really profound Cotton. textilist. Yeah, I do love a bit of textiles. <laughs> I know exactly what you're on about. For like yarn and stuff. Okay, like confession. Isabella there. has a little bit of booty hair on her bum hole. Why am I not allowed bum hair? You know that's normal for women. It's normal for so, men. It's normal for anybody. Yeah, exactly. Why are you making it out like I'm the only one that has hair on their arsehole I'm in not the world? Making, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying yours is really thick and scary. I'm saying yours it's is worse because I it's actually... just a little one, like the odd one. Like how the what the fuck is that? It looks actually... like eyelashes, bruv. You've got <laughs> eyelashes. That fucking arsehole <laughs> stares into my soul and it blinks. It fucking blinks. Well, I actually like a bit of hair on your um. What would you call that bit before your willy? <laughs> your puss. I don't know. My pubic area. Your pubic area. I like a bit of hair. I don't like it when it's bald because that actually kind a of a bald eagle. Me off. Yeah, I don't really like that. I like a bit of bristle, but um, which is. Yeah, I fine. have butt hair, and that's fine. That's normal. I am in a nice, healthy relationship, and you told me you don't mind it. And do you know what? Shaving the arsehole is hard, and also it really itches after a Wait, few so days. So why am I getting this hypocrisy going because on? Because mine isn't as thick and scary and really in your face. Yeah, but you just said it's hard to shave and it's itchy. Do you yeah. think I want to walk around when I already had X on my bum when I was six years old? Confession. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That I don't have it anymore, by the way. But well, I don't have it anymore. Are you sure? My arsehole doesn't itch me anymore. <laughs> I doesn't bleed at night and cry. Oh! <laughs> you know, James what the told... fuck is this podcast? You know, you know, James told me that he went to the doctors. How old were you? I was like six, five, five, six, seven. And this seven. poor woman had to stare at your arsehole, which had it. You have right. never had it where you're five, six years old, yeah. And you're crying every night. You're it's like fucking having worms, but on roids. Like you're really digging, and nothing's gonna uh, scratch that itch. No pun intended. And it would <laughs> fucking bleed, and it would Ew. bleed and bleed. And then you'd be like, "Ah, oh, mum, ah, oh, dad, I can't sleep." It's just fucking. Imagine going to school the next day. You haven't slept. You're trying to learn your ABCs, and you can't because your arsehole's itchy. Had to go to the doctors. Had to get uh, an appointment. Did that? Did that do anything? No. Had to grow out of it. 
That's I'm fine now. Revolting. I don't know what I'd do if my kid had an itchy house. Crack. You go. Do you know what? That's fine. We'll fix it. Do you know what? I think this is common in boys because my dad ha- used to have a girlfriend. They were together quite a while, quite a few years. Kind of had a stepbrother at one point. Anyway, this. What step- are you doing, stepbro? This stepbro always had an itchy butthole, and I have clear memories. My sister has these memories too, of um us in town in Worthing specifically uh, and he'd be like mum my asshole's itchy and she'd be like okay one second get her hand and just start itching it in fucking public in broad daylight damn where's she at <laughs> <laughs> yeah weird but, no but seriously like where just like mum son relationships are weird well why are you bringing it into some weird thing now but you said that as if you like directed to people towards me and my mum then for a second. Well, I don't know. Did your mum ever itch your arsehole for you? Not in a paedophilic way. What just the in, fuck like, is wrong I with you? I feel like mums just love their sons to another level. Like, I'm, mummy's boy. I, I, you mummy I'm, boy. I have not been touched up by my mum. That's not what is I'm saying. Is that what you're trying to ask? I'm, no. What I'm I haven't been say, harassed by my mum. I'm not saying it. I just said not in a sexual way. I'm just saying. I need that. <laughs> I just want to say this episode is uh, probably never getting monetized, <laughs> and we're probably going to get perma banned from every platform we put this on. Cool. So um, this might be the last episode we ever film. Oh my god! <laughs> it would have been cooler if we didn't have any facial expression after that, you know, like chin chin. <laughs> I know. This is how you do it, really. But I don't have that. Do you know what? Confession. Ready? Here's a confession. So do it. I wish I gave off cool energy, but I just know that I don't. I know I give off cringe, weird girl energy. No, worse than that. Just I sad my, little life energy. I I <laughs> I watch my TikToks back and I think I'm fucking annoying. Like I don't even like most of my videos. I don't like. I feel like sometimes I just get so energetic and so excited filming TikToks, and I'm like, hello, <laughs> and then I watch them back and I'm like, who is that girl? Because it's not me. Mm-hmm. And how would you say that made you feel? <laughs> like people just don't know the real me. Because this feels more like therapy. Uh-huh. Rather than a confession. <laughs> Maybe I need to talk about this in therapy. Yeah, because I don't get paid to do this shit. So if you no, want to sling me over, you get to be my boyfriend, and that's the most amazing thing in the whole entire world. Yeah, but if you're from dealing with your problems, sling me over forty quid. You know what I'm saying? Seventy quid actually. I'm doing discount. <laughs> sling me over forty quid, and I listen to you moan all the time. I'm just. What saying. more can I do for you? I pay for the sh- food shop. Oh my, here we go. Money, 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 money. You, oh, I make dinner. Oh, you have not I clean the done room. those dishes in a fucking hot minute. I make you coffee in the morning. Where's my coffee this morning? You don't. I say I didn't coffee's have it. ready. Ah! And you don't come. You don't come in. I te- You don't come. Oh, uh-huh. You did last night. Help. <laughs> <laughs> James used the cockroach. No, oh, shut the <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, the most embarrassing thing happened. James got a Trojan Condoms PR package and I had to open the door to it and the man looked at the package, looked at me and goes, Here you go. I looked at the package thinking, Why did he stare at me like that? The bloody package said Trojan Condoms in big fucking fuck off font writing. The box I was at least like it was huge. This big. So you know. So we open it thinking, okay, there must not just be condoms in here because this fuck is big. Opened it. There were sweets, handcuffs. And a 17-inch dildo just <laughs> flopped out and just smacked me in the face. And I was no, like, I wish. But it was a cock ring. And it scared me at first. I thought, what is that? Right. Anywho, I would like to potentially work with brands in the future because <laughs> I have no money. So can we not talk about how we had sex using a cock ring for the first time. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> this episode will be the end of both our careers. Don't say that. <laughs> wow, what you looking for? <laughs> we go, guys, James always says stuff that truck is my like weird OCD symptoms. Anyway. If you see me doing this, it's because... 
in my head I think something's bad is going to happen but anyway uh moving on to another confession I've got a confession when I was in primary school me and my friend Izzy we played a really weird game in uh playtime and that was Kevin Fred and that game was I can't remember who was Kevin who was Fred I think I was Kev yeah you give me Kev energy um so we just formed into these characters who were Kevin Fred and as soon as we formed into them we just start acting like complete weird nonces and the there was a rainbow wall in our school and our imagination was wild because we would go up to that wall and imagine that porn hub was on the wall and we'll pretend it was like a computer and we'll be like beep 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 big boobies please <laughs> we'd pretend that we're watching porn I'd be like, oh yeah, 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 boop, 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 boop. Oh, someone's coming, and we just run around the playground, going, "Hello, Fred. Hello, Kev." <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what the hell right. that was about. So here is the wall. All your listeners, you just have to listen in. But here is the wall. Yep. Turn into Kev for me, please. <laughs> I want to. What do you want to watch today, Fred? <laughs> I don't know. I want to see Big Teddy. <laughs> Carry on. I want to see what happens when you're watching it. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh, look at that. What are you looking at? Big booty bitches. All right, so how would how would you react? if you? James, don't make me go down this horrible memory no, lane. No, I'm doing it. Go. I don't even remember. I was like seven. Okay, I think someone's in denial. In denial for more. You don't want to... You. The thing is, you're, 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 you are Kev. Yeah. <laughs> there is no imagination. That is you. Right. That's just like you spoiler coming up. So skip ahead if you haven't watched you yet. You are Reese Montrose. <laughs> you are Joel yeah. Goldberg's. Yeah, that's a weird alter ego I had going on. And then another weird thing we used to do is in golden time when we got to like draw and shit, we would connect A4 pieces of paper together so then it would be really long. Mm-hmm. And throughout each week, we would do one page at a time. So it was really long and you could fold it together. And it was called Sammy's World. And what that essentially was, Sammy was a willy. And we used to draw willy trees, willy sweets, willy roads, willy cars. Because it was Sammy's World and it was just a whole drawing of willies. And Mm. while we were sat down... (laughs) Mm. so you know we could sit down in lessons mm-hmm. on the carpet if we weren't near each other we would do this at each other mm. because it looks like a willy and that would just be us saying hello we'll be like hello and where do you think that stemmed from i what? honestly couldn't tell you mm. i guess maybe having fascination for the opposite sex and um would you think there's any induced trauma <laughs> to have those thoughts no, I don't think so. It was fun. We would be excited. Imagine. I don't know how the teacher never saw it. Hmm. Oh, because we would draw under the table. Okay. Yeah. See, as your therapist, this makes a lot of sense. Why? Because I like big cocks. Yeah. And I heard that your boyfriend is uh, packing heat. Mm-hmm. Like, big time. Like, <laughs> not not really humane packing heat kind of vibe like just imagine yeah this yeah, yeah. that big that's what i imagine is that true um it's more like this oh yeah so you weren't too far off yeah um but yeah i do like that oh nice yeah here's a confession from from me at primary school i used to play games called tag anybody's heard of it no Okay. What's tag? So you run to the person and right. you get your fingers out, yeah? You touch them and you go, tag, you're it. And then they're now the person that can tag someone else. Right. But we changed the game. We played Darth Vader against the Jedis. <laughs> and mate, Cringe. Darth Vader was tag. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we would run away from Darth Vader. I was in like year six, year five. <laughs> and I see Darth Vader's fucking, he's coming for me. He's coming and he ain't stopping. And I'm like, fucking, let's get out of this fucking mess. Sprinting, sprinting. Slip, whoa, bang. Hit the floor. Um, oh. Oh. 
the snot's coming from my nose Ew. and crying from my eyes. I can't, my arm is like ringing. I'm like, <laughs> I try and get up. And I'm like, ah, fuck, ah, I can't. And I look up. I'm like, why is no one surrounding me? Like, what? I can hear a lot of people. Why are they all surrounding me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, sit up. Why the fuck in the pile over there for? Why is there a big group of... Who's on the floor over there? I fell over. Uh-huh. Found out, yeah. When I was running for my life, I slipped on a girl's ear. He was lying on the floor, looking at the sun. Oh. And I ripped the bottom of my oh. lobe. Off. That is horrific. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? And I was like, you're like, impressed with what you did. That poor girl who was just watching the sun, minding her own business. You ripped her bloody earlobe off. Earlobe. Well, maybe it was like fully off, maybe dangling, but it was ripped. Ah! Yeah. And I remember like sitting up and like, any danger is giving me some help. I can't even get up right now. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, fucking hell. And I walked over and I was like, oh shit. All right, fair enough, man. Was it bad? Was it bloody? It wasn't bad. I don't really, can't really remember. It's one of those screaming. ones where it's just like, nah, I was too worried about, I was crying. I was like, it's not in. Couldn't You're probably get like trying to get the attention. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Where's the hot girls at? <laughs> Somebody saw my cast. I didn't have a cast. I sprained my arm. That's all oh. I did. And then um, another confession. Playing Duck, Duck, Goose. Do you know when you fancy a girl? You're like, duck, duck, mm-hmm. goose. <laughs> yeah. Don't know why I decided to fucking press her neck down as hard as I could. So I was like, duck, duck, goose. Oh, I hated and her, her you neck did like that. that. And then she went, uh, ah, I started screaming. I'm like, that's not. How, I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Yeah. Press to chase me, mate. I don't think you get out of the game works, mate. Oh, you don't no. just sit there and scream. You chase me. They called in the school. The parents called the school, oh, no. and I had a meeting with the school saying James getting a bit aggressive recently. Uh, any reasons why? No. Just, I'm that guy. You were that a, a really annoying kid, weren't you? Cause but I then I, I then I changed my ways. I changed boy. my ways and I joined a pilgrimage. And I went, but I did pilgrim puppeteering and I changed my life for the better. Good. I need to sneeze. Uh, pineapple Jesus bums. No, no, <laughs> don't sneeze. No, Jesus, pineapples. Hawaiian pineapples on the sunset on the trees. What? Didn't sneeze anymore, did she? Because sneezing is a concept made by the Matrix. Okay, and that is where we're going to leave this podcast, everyone. Thank you for today's episode. Andrew Tate, free him from prison now. What? <laughs> Hashtag free Tate. Are free you Tate. All right? Are you all right? Sorry, I just. <laughs> Hi. Did you just get possessed? No, I had a system reboot. I'm now back in the Matrix. Oh, I was free. Chest ticky talky. Is that you? What? Why? Why would I be HS Tiki Talkie for? Because that sounds like something he would say. Because he's a carbon copy of Andrew Tate. Yep. Yeah. We found out that he might actually live near your mum, didn't we? In Dubai, yeah. Yeah. The house looks eerily Scary. similar to my mum's house. Like in that area. <sighs> so maybe I might go over to Dubai soon and just see HS Tiki Talkie. Sw- I'll tell you what though, another random fact for you. I saw, if you go on HS Tiki Talkie's TikTok account, yeah, and you see he's he was having a meal with this guy who's like really rich, whatever, whatever, I don't give a fuck. But I saw him in Dubai spinning in a rental Lambo. Just yeah. It was rental. He went up the road, turned around, went back down the road. But as he turned around and went down, I looked at him and I saw him. I was like, I know that guy from TikTok. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, maybe I might be hanging out with him soon, guys. <laughs> that might be you my new have friend. You girlfriend anytime soon. It's fine because I'll get loads of bitches out in Dubai because yeah, right. they get bare gals. They've got bare money. They're so happy. That's what I want in life. Let's just call it quits then. Let's let's turn this into a one-man show, hey? All right. Hi, guys. Welcome back to... uh, Someone who wanks himself off. Okay. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode or listening. Um, we're back every Thursday at 6pm. You know the drill. Follow our Instagrams. Follow the YouTube. Follow the TikTok. You know, give us all the support we can. You can. I'm a bit tipsy right now, so I'm not making much sense. But if you can review the podcast as well, that'd be incredible. We love you guys so much and we'll see you next week. Peace.